Hey, it's Wes. And Shonda. And welcome, welcome to, to Dink, Dink Life. Life. So we are now at part two of our day at Tokyo Disneyland. Um, and we had just finished talking about how we saw the Disneyland band, which was amazing. Yep. Um, and it just so happens that we were right up front and about a half an hour away from the daytime parade. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the, Perfect time to get a seat. Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, and what is so fantastic over there is that they sit for their parades. Yeah, um, so it was real nice. Oh my God. We had a front row seat right at the edge of the curb. Yeah, we managed to get right up on the front of the curb. Um, you sit down, everyone can see. Right? Yeah. There's nobody jostling in at the last second to try to stand in front of you with kids on their shoulders. No, it's it was lovely. Nice. Yeah, and then the staff kind of walks up and down and kind of keeps an eye on everything and kind of cheers everybody, like kind of cheers on getting ready for the parade. It was real cute too. It was, and they also have people walking down with trash cans so that if you're sitting there and you're eating or you have oh, garbage, yeah, yeah, yeah. they will collect your trash, trash from you, you rather than you have to get, get up, up and, and go yep. find a trash can or hold on to it till the end of the parade. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And it was kind of cool. Uh, the people, like we said, they're very into their stuffed animals yeah. there. They would actually place them on the front of the curb. Yeah, to watch to the parade. To watch the parade, too. <laughs> and the other thing they do there, which, you know, if we ever go back, we will now know, is because they do sit for parades and nighttime shows and stuff, people bring, like, little mats. Oh, yeah, like a little on. picnic mat. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, and a lot of people take off their shoes, and they just get, like, super comfortable. Yeah, yeah. They do take their shoes off before they even get on the mats most all the people. Yeah, but it's great. I mean, the atmosphere is just so much nicer than yeah. the jostling around and people shoving and pushing and, you know. Like, but yep. anyway, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, but the parade was fantastic yeah it was really good and it was long I felt <clears throat> like. yeah it was a long parade i'll throw a couple clips in of the parade amazing parade though uh one thing that was kind of funny though is so again all the uh like actors that are the main characters like alice in wonderland they're all american at least that's what at least that's what i guess yeah right? i don't know if they well, come from another part of their the, their caucasian, caucasian. Yeah, yeah yes <laughs> yeah so uh but it was funny because they would look down and, you know, it's like kind of just a sea of black hair and then it would be me and my wife there. And then they would be like, kind of like shocked, like, oh my gosh, there's like two um, uh, two more Caucasian people there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we are definitely an enigma, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, kind of funny though. They were a little shocked when they saw us sitting there. It's true. And it's, <clears throat> it's, it's kind of nice. I mean, because you feel like royalty, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely feel like you're being treated much nicer. Um, yep. That's not to say that the cast members aren't great to the native people, but they are enamored with Americans, um, which we've talked about before. And we'll keep talking about because the next thing that we did was we went to see the Enchanted Tiki Room with Stitch. Um, their, so their version of Enchanted Tiki Room has Stitch as Elvis. Um, which is, you know, so we were like, well, we have to go see this. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Different. It's fine. Yeah, it's different. So, we get in line. I mean, we're not in there 30 seconds, I don't think. And a cast member runs over to us and he was like, do you need translators? This is the first time we've ever been offered anything like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a little lanyard that hangs around your neck and you, it's got a screen on it and you hold it up in front of you and whatever they're singing, whatever stitch or the birds are singing, comes up in English. Yeah, and yeah. they have other languages too, but... Um, yep, yep. So I could just watch it and, and know what they were saying. And I was like, this is so fantastic. Yeah, it was really cool. So not only did he offer us that, then he says to us, wait a minute, wait a minute. And he runs away, you know, and he's like, I'll be right back. And he comes back and he has two more of those, my first time visit stickers. And he's writing our name on them and the date. And then he's like, come with me, come with me. Yeah. And he takes us to the front of the ride where the name of the ride is. Yep. And there's like some plants and a waterfall and takes a picture of us holding up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really it awesome picture too. It was amazing. Yeah, and he did a great job. And yeah. all of this without us even asking. No, no. Um, so, yeah. Even he, after the show, he ran in to make sure that we enjoyed it too. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was so fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, the show was super cute. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, it was like the tiki room around here, but like it was just cool the little stitch things. Like he's yeah. kind of like, like it was like he was sneaking in and graffitied yeah. the inside of the tiki room and the black lights kicking on. Yeah, like he popped up and he really had a little cool. guitar, ukulele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think and he was like singing and it's just so adorable. Yeah. Like, one thing that was cool while we were inside too yeah. is there was a. <laughs> I uh, knew this was gonna come up. Oh yeah, there was a. A lady and her kids started crying, and it was funny because, like, here you like kind of just let the kids cry through the show almost. Mm -hmm. There, a cast member went over, talked to the lady, they escorted her out of the thing so it didn't disrupt the rest of the crowd there, which I thought was really nice for the rest of the crowd. I did too. And I gotta tell you, I mean, I have a feeling that even if that cast member had not asked her to leave, she would have gotten She probably would have done it herself, anyway. yeah, because it was just their normal, yeah. That's what they it's do. It's their there. culture there. Yep. Um, and, you know, <laughs> I, I know. We, we're gonna get a lot of haters on this, um, but Disney's for kids and all, and it might be right. Yeah, yeah. But everybody but pays the same everybody price. Everybody spends a lot of money to go to it. Right, and so, so yeah. yeah, it's sort of just like having a screaming kid behind you on an airplane, right? It's like you understand there's nothing you can do about it, and the baby's but it in, ruins in pain the or whatever. Of the show, but yeah. yeah, so I mean, it was it was kind of <clears> nice <throat> that everybody's so respectful over there. Yeah. That as soon as that baby started crying, it was just like, okay, gotta go. Yep. You know? It was really nice. Yeah. So that part was really, really cool. Yep. So we got out of the Stitch show and we kind of just wandered around. We were actually looking for Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but we did not know it was closed for refurbishment. Yeah. So we got up there and it was like, oh, bummer. You know? But again, it's Pirates. We've been on it. Yep. Um, and also the Swiss Family Treehouse was closed because we yeah, were going to try to trek through that. Yeah, it was closed for refurbishment yeah. too. Yeah, so those are those were the only two things I think that were closed for refurb though while we no. were there. But you always have something being refurbished at a Disney park. You do. Right? Since they're open year-round, there's not a lot you can do about it. Yep. Um, so after that, uh, it was time for our late lunch, early dinner, whatever you want to call it, uh, at the Polynesian Terrace. So they have a restaurant in the park that's a little bit like uh, Ohana is here. It's not family style, though, but it's inside. Uh, it appears as though sometimes they have live shows, but I don't oh, think yeah, the show it, there had still, picked up since yeah, yeah, COVID. Since COVID. Um, it sits right next to the Jungle Cruise, which I thought was pretty cool because it, it kind of has that theme that fits with mm -hmm. Jungle Cruise. And out the back side of the restaurant, I'm pretty sure you can see the boats coming in from the Jungle Cruise. We were just sitting on the opposite side of the restaurant. Yeah, and it just has that feel of like a Hawaiian luau. Yeah. You know, all of the waiters and waitresses are dressed in like Hawaiian shirts or dresses. Yeah, um, and actually it was all Asian people that worked at the place that all kind of had their hair cut like that style yeah. too, which was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, one thing to say about this restaurant though, again, the menu is very limited. Yeah. I think there were two choices of things to get maybe or three. There was not a lot. Yeah. Um, but we both ordered pancakes. And again, just like in an earlier video, when I say pancakes, I'm talking like yeah, they, they were, were really this good. Thing. It was a meal of pancakes. It was yeah. good. And there was like some kind of sorbet on the side. Um, and a lot of whipped cream and it was like topped with raspberry. It wasn't even like a, a jelly. It was like a cream. Yeah. Um, we have photos of it. Yeah. It I, was stunning. And then I had a mixed drink. Yeah. It was delicious. And I had a coffee and they only give you one refill. So yeah. just so you know, or not, they actually have no refills. I was going to say none. They just give you one drink. One, of yeah. One cup it's of not coffee. like here. Again, yeah, just so portion you know. sizes are... Within the normal limits. Yeah. Um, not No free refills on drinks yeah. or anything. It's just you get what you pay for. And it actually didn't take very long to eat there. We moved no. in out of it pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then right after that, we went over to the... Um... I do recommend that restaurant. Yeah. I it was good. It was lovely. However, let me say this. Um, that's one of the ones that you have to make a reservation for. So if you're used to making reservations in the States, I think your window opens 60 days beforehand. And it's 60 days, like counting backwards 60 days, right? There, it's one month. So it's not, it's like, it's weird. Because it's not the counting of the 30 days. It's like one month before your day in the park. And I don't think they overbook like they do here either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you got to hop on there and you got to get what you want pretty quickly, sort of like you do here, or it'll you won't get it. Yep. Um, but they do save room for walk-ups just like they do here, I heard. But I don't think it's quite as... Yeah. It's not quite as much of a free-for-all. Anyway, I just wanted to add that in. But go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then next we went over to the uh, 
the, the train. train ride and rode yeah. that. Because it was right there. Yeah, in their train, it uh, sits on the top floor of Jungle Cruise, mm -hmm. which was kind of interesting. So the Jungle Cruise loads on the bottom, and then the train loads right on top of Jungle Cruise yes. right there. Yes, right. Which is kind of neat. And then um, and there's they no other stop. No, it's just a one train stop. It kind of goes out and does, it's an out and back type train. Yes. Deal. So, and I think they had two trains running while we were there, maybe even three. It's possible, but they we were didn't moving, wait. No, yeah. they were moving people through this yeah. thing. They filled the cars up completely, and it it ran pretty much, it was, I thought it was the best Disney train ride out of all the ones I've been to, Paris, Florida, and California. Uh, I will say, I don't know, I, I like the one in Disneyland. Um, isn't that where you go through where their dinosaurs are? Yeah, but I they like had they had that on this one though. But yeah, yeah, this one isn't quite as long. They've got the scenes with the the Indians and the Old yeah. West and that kind of stuff. Which that's one thing that's kind of interesting. There is they kind of pulled all the Indian stuff out of the United States, yes. but the Indian stuff is still there. And like, it is, yeah, because it's obviously not offensive to them. No, I mean it goes <laughs> with the Wild West too. Right. Uh, but it was a great train ride. Um, you know, it was very nice and pleasant, and uh, yeah, I mean, we enjoyed it. Yeah, it was an awesome. And you get some, you get some really good views of the uh, canoe ride that goes through there. I don't know the yes, exact name of it. Yes, they still have that there yeah, where you yeah. can paddle the canoes. Yeah, and you saw some really good. Yeah, and they had lots of animatronics, way more than the ones here. Just yes. like little scenes where like the Indians would be doing some ceremonies or some Dogs. animals would be out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wagging their tails yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and I have a full POV train ride of that, too. I'll put a link in there, too. Yeah. So then from there, we went and got on the riverboat. Yep. Uh, the Mark Twain riverboat. Um, and they do have the island, just like we do here. Yeah. Um, the riverboat ride was great. And again, like, yeah. so we stood on the very, very top, top deck. At the very front. front of it. Yeah. yeah. So we were, like, front and center on yeah. the boat. Yeah. And, um, man everybody throughout the whole park was like waving at us yeah and they would see hi. us and we were just waving <laughs> the whole time like it was yeah. really really cool um and it was a great boat ride i mean yeah and i got another pov video of that too very reminiscent of the yeah. one here and you can even see the people waving in it yeah aside from the fact that the people were so friendly <laughs> yeah. um yeah it's great like people are just not so concerned with only what they are doing. Yeah. They're paying attention to everything going on around them and they're just enjoying the entire atmosphere instead of just like me, 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 it's yeah, all about yeah, yeah. me. It was cool because we went by the uh, Splash Mountain line and I, it, like, just tons of people. It was probably like 50 <laughs> people in line were waving, waving at us. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. great. It was really cool. Yeah, it, it is cool just with the atmosphere. They got the little uh, boat that tra transfers you the, like, uh, Tom Sawyer little mm -hmm. boat that goes back and forth to the island and then they got the paddle boats going so like the whole lake had like a really it's all being yeah, used it's, it's very active yeah it's just really yeah, cool, it cool to see um yeah so we took that boat ride now um you know we were back in that area but the lines for Big Thunder Mountain and Splash Mountain were so incredibly long that we did not get on either one of those. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know yeah. again it was like you have to make a decision what do we ride here versus what can we ride at home. Yeah. And so those yep. two things kind of had to get scrapped. And one other thing that was kind of neat about Frontierland that was way different from here is uh the shooting gallery there had an extremely long line to oh, actually go to the shooting gallery. It did. Yeah, yeah. Well, they was, don't get to shoot guns Yeah, there. I know. Like, <laughs> guns aren't there. It was crazy. I'm like, well, we went over to the shooting gallery, and I'm like, the line for this is insane. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. Like, they don't own guns like yeah, we yeah, do yeah, here, yeah. so... <laughs> Definitely more of a fascination to shoot guns. The novelty is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. much different. Yeah. Uh, so, I understand. I mean, yeah. that's... Uh, yeah, so after that, um, we went and rode Snow White. Yes. Which, again, um, the queue is a lot different there, like what you see in the queue line. Mm -hmm. And then again, as with Pinocchio, Just a little it was darker. a little bit darker. Yeah, Just the ride was a little bit here. darker. Um, in fact, I think the people behind us, they may have been from Australia or England or something, and they were commenting the same thing. They were like, this is pretty scary for kids, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was it was kind of cool that we did that one too. Um, again, it seems like, well, we have it here, why do it? But we just kind of wanted to see what the differences were. So from there, we then also went and rode a small world. 
um, which, you know, again, we, we've been on it a hundred times, but you always want to see what the differences are. And this one, I will say, the Q, Q was amazing. Yeah, yeah, the Q is really good on it. We've got pictures and, and, and stuff. And I felt like just even the whole thing just had like a little bit more stuff to look at it. Yeah, well, this, so the difference with this one is each country had a little animatronic doll from a movie that had been set there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. in Ireland, Merida was there, yeah, right? And then in cool. Hawaii, Stitch, Lilo and Stitch were there. Yep. And, and so on and so forth. So it was yeah. kind of cool to just go through every country and go, oh, the Lion King. Oh, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was um, cool. Because we but, don't have that. Yeah, thing. and then just all the ones just seemed to have more stuff in them. I don't know. They just did. Seemed... And, and just the queue line, like, was so bright. Yeah. And like, again, there were dolls and animatronics in the queue yeah. line. And at the one end, I think there's a train that circles yes. around at the top before you enter in. So, I mean, even if you don't want to ride the ride, yeah. I feel like it's worth it just It's to... just a little bit different than the ones here. It was worth the walk mm -hmm. going to. I would agree with that. I think it was totally worth it. I'm glad that we did it. Yeah. So after that, we went and walked around Toontown for a little bit because we just wanted to make sure, even if we didn't do get on everything or do everything, we wanted to make sure we covered the whole park yeah. at least. So we didn't get to ride Roger Rabbit. I, I don't know if it was even open, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't remember. That actually might have been closed as well. I think that was closed too while we were there. Um, but their Toontown, strangely, now Fantasyland wasn't busy, but Toontown was busy. Packed. Yeah, well, it was later in the day too, which yeah. the parks usually always do get later as the day goes on, or busier the later you go. Yeah, but it was much like Toontown here. Um, yeah, I I thought it was themed real well. I mm -hmm. mean, it was not a lot different than the no. ones here, very similar, mm -hmm. but I maybe a, some of the stuff in it was everything there just had a little cleaner feel to yes. it in here. Like and newer like, almost. Like, yeah, like just the paint was cleaner yeah. and brighter on it. So, I mean, that's the only thing that I would say is a little different. Everything just seem cleaner. Yeah, so I mean, I would say if you only have one day there and you've been to the parks here and you want to skip something, maybe that's it. Yeah. Just because it's it's exactly the same. Yeah. I mean, there, there wasn't anything different back there. No. Um, there was a couple... The only thing that was maybe cool is there's a couple shops back there and there's a couple uh, Gachapon custom yeah. machines in the shops there. Just so you want to know, if you're looking for more Gachapon stuff, they have custom ones back in there. Just yes. custom machines that Disney built. Yeah. Which we need to look at. Yeah, that's true. But there's Gachapon everywhere over there. Yeah. Um, so from there, we then went to the castle because just like the one in Paris, you can walk through this one. Yeah, there's stuff inside. Yeah. So we got in line. That was kind of a long wait. Um, the posted time was only like 15 minutes. We probably waited 25 or 30. Yeah, it was a little bit. Um, but it's it's a lot of it's because you You're have to load to into an elevator, elevator and you yeah. can only fit like 10 people in yeah. there. That was the part that took the longest. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it takes you. To, it's Cinderella's Castle, by the way, just in case anyone yeah. doesn't know. Um, you know, because over here we've got Cinderella Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, so it was cool. So you get up there uh, and it's just kind of a little walkthrough. And, and dioramas and stuff like that but then you get to this mid middle room it's like a ballroom and there's like three different spots where they've got magic pictures pictures yeah so if you stand in front of it it does something once you take the photo it does yeah, something you, behind you yeah you have to have the flash on on your camera yes that it's a, whatever it is it's like a some kind of a ink or something that they have on it and it's activated by an led flash across it yeah so you can only see it once you take the picture yeah yeah now this is one thing i will say um you know in america when people are waiting to get their pictures taken for something it's like boom 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 you get in there you get your picture taken you get yeah, out yeah. right because people are just like there's a line waiting behind us but over there it's not like that yeah. oh lord they're they into their photos so yeah. very serious there's a bunch of posing and then you've got to take six of them and then the person's got to check to make yeah. sure those six came out right and if they didn't then they've got to take like 12 more yeah so the lines well for it's the mostly photos... it's mostly only women too <laughs> yeah that's true yeah. that's true um but the lines for the photos were so long yeah yeah um, and we kind of just snuck through and tried to get like a couple quick ones. I mean, we, we didn't stand yeah. in line, but we were those we, people that hopped in and went, take it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. got and out then of the way. Got out of there. You know, um, but when you leave that, you kind of walk out the back and then it has a nice view of the carousel and everything. Yeah. You're like you're on top yeah. of the castle. Um, so you get some very good shots of the whole park. Um, and it's, it's quite lovely. Yeah. 
Um, now, we did take some time to look in some of the stores. Yeah, and the stores under the castle had some good stuff. That's where we actually saw some Glass like, haunted blowing. mansion stuff that you oh, yeah. didn't see anywhere else. And they had like a little haunted mansion. Uh, I can't. It was like some LCD screens that had some haunted mansion stuff on it, but we couldn't read any of it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they had a lot of great merch under there. Yeah. So, um, you know, the, again. Yeah, so the store underneath the castle is worth checking out for sure. If you want something a little different, um, you know, different than we have over here, definitely check out the merch. Yeah. Um, so now, by now it was getting pretty late. Yeah. Um, and they still have an electrical parade there. Yeah. Um, so we definitely did not want to miss it. And we got there real early, so I think we got there almost 40 minutes before it started. Just oh, so we had good easily. seats. easily. Might have been an hour. Yeah. Uh, but we did, we wanted front row seats because again, don't know when we're going to be yeah. back. Not sure what we're looking at. Um, and that so one did book up quick. It did. Um, so we sat down, we did get another front row seat. I went and found us something warm to drink. We both went to the bathroom and like we had plenty of time for that. But even still, like even at an hour to 45 minutes early, I mean, you know, here when the parks are busy, if you don't get there like two hours ahead of time, you're not getting a spot. Yeah. So yep. it was nice, right? Yeah. Not to have to stake out your spot two hours early. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then even on this one, like everybody sat on the ground. Yep. It was really nice. Yet again, everybody sitting so that even four rows back, everyone, yeah. including children, can see. Yep. Which is, I think, something they just don't get here. Yeah. It, um, it was a really long show too. It was, and oh my god, it was amazing. It was so good, yeah. like way. I mean, I saw it when I was a kid, yep. but like <laughs> the lighting now with just LEDs, what they can do with it, I know, and just color changing and stuff yeah. like that. One of the probably one of the most amazing floats I think on the whole thing the is Peter Pan's oh. float. See, I thought it was the genie. No, Peter's <laughs> Pan's float by far with the uh, sails and just the stuff they do with it. Like the sails are like burning off and like dropping. Super cool. The genie was awesome too. But he the must sails have changed were... colors about twelve times. It was yeah. really cool. Yeah. It was cool. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have missed that for the world. Yeah, I've seen the electrical parade here. Yeah, uh, it and was I've even good. Seen the I one mean, that they used to have on the lake. You know, this, I mean, we're talking like back in the 90s, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, yes, of course, there have been a lot of advancements, but... Yeah, technology's man, made that way better. This parade was so good. Yeah. I mean, so good. Um, and so, there just couldn't have been a more perfect way to wrap up our day at Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah. Um, we did hit a few more stores on the way out, I think. Um, yeah. But that was pretty much it. That was like, pretty much... That was we our were there day, from yeah. open to, to close. close. Yeah. Um, and we, we were going, except for the times we sat down to eat, we were going the entire day. Yeah. And we wrote a lot of stuff, but we still didn't even come hard, even close to writing everything. We did. I would say, um, you know, everybody says if you only have a certain amount of time there, two days at Disney Sea, one day at Disney, I would say you need two days at both. Really. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't want to rush through Tokyo Disneyland, yeah. or if in fact you haven't been to Magic Kingdom, oh, yeah. or, like, we go all the time. Yeah, and one other thing to note about the uh, Disneyland there is uh, it does have the same, it has the show system with the queues in the morning. You got to try to get into it right when you yeah, get we there. Got we didn't get, get anything. So we never did Surprise! get to see, we never got to see one <laughs> Japan didn't. show, so... I mean, that was a little disappointing, but that's just how it is there. I don't even know, though, would we have had time, to be honest with you. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, we would have went to it if we would have got a time, but I'm just saying, that's that's how it's going to happen there when you go to it. There's right. no option. I mean, there's so no, don't, I mean, don't get mad about it. Yeah, don't let it ruin your day. Yeah. Because, honest to God, You're there's probably so much, not going to see a show. There's so much other stuff to do. Yeah. And, and two, if you don't speak Japanese... Yeah. like the, the two parades are amazing, too. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah, listen. And those you don't need a time for. Yeah. It totally, and I will say, I mean, it was super busy in both parks, and yet we still didn't get to either parade more than an hour beforehand and got in the front row. Yep. So this is not a park where you have to stake out your, no matter how busy it is. Yeah. Where you have to stake out your spot like you do here. No. Well, I think a lot of the people there are locals, so they get to see it more often than people here. But there here. still was but, a ton yeah, of people. Oh, yeah. There's I mean, those were rows were like five I mean, it was people. filled. Yeah, it was filled. Um... So yeah, again, just don't don't let something like that ruin your day because honestly, there's so much to do there that, you know, you, you can't let that one little thing get to you. I mean, was it disappointing? Sure. But then we were like, okay, yep. you know, on with our day. 
Um, so, but if you have enough time to spend two days at each park, that's what I would recommend doing. Yep. Um, because even if you get a lot of Magic Kingdom, there were like four or five things we still didn't get on. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's that. And then we exited the park and hopped on the monorail and went back to our hotel. Yep. Um, and so then our next vlog, which will be our, our last very day. last day in Japan and Tokyo, um, we were again at Disney Seas and we have more to talk about because we did completely different things the second day than we did the first day. Yep. Um, so that will be coming up next. And as always, just remember, whatever, whatever you, you decide, decide to do, do just, just get, get out, out there and do it. it.